Hello my fellow fasting foodie friend, it's Jackie. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about reading Glucose Revolution, hacks for glucose, why I care about my blood glucose as an intermittent faster, and some really fun tests. Bottom line, I don't wanna restrict the foods that I eat. I don't wanna feel like I can't eat donuts because guess what, when I restrict donuts, guess what I'll eventually do? Eat 18 donuts in one day and give up on whatever said diet told me not to eat donuts. However, as an intermittent faster, I don't have restrictions. So when the day comes that I want to eat a donut, I eat a single donut. I enjoy it. I don't feel bad. And then I move on and I fast on and I eat whatever the next window begs me to eat. It is a freedom that is hard to understand until you've experienced it yourself, but I get it through intermittent fasting. However, that doesn't mean that I am not on a quest for knowledge and having a continuous glucose monitor has shown me personally how I react to certain foods. If you want one, this isn't sponsored, but I do have an affiliate code. If you take a survey down below, you can find out how to help you meet your goals. It's a free, no credit card survey. It just tells you how they can maybe meet your goals by having one of their continuous glucose monitors. NutriSense has sent me five different continuous glucose monitors that I've been wearing over the past few months, a total of 10 weeks. I wanted to make sure I was doing tests that made sense. So I got Glucose Revolution. I absolutely love this book. Nowhere in this book does the author, Jesse tell you to not eat foods. I was kind of expecting her to be like, don't eat sugar, don't eat bread, don't eat carbs. Not at all, not a single place. So already thumbs up in my book. What she does is she helps you to understand blood sugar, understand why it matters, and understand why you want to flatten your glucose curves. She does a great job of sharing all that with you. And then in addition to that, she gives you hacks on how you can flatten your curve. Why do you want to flatten your curve? In the book, she talks about how um, glucose spikes and crashes help you to feel hungry, crave the sweet things. It makes it really hard to um, eat properly when you have those spikes and those crashes. So when you level it off, you're going to stay satisfied and full much longer. Avoiding the crashes are also going to help you to sleep better, have better moods. There's a lot of information in the book. I'm, I'm not a glucose expert. I'm just someone who wants to do better for me personally. In this book, she tells you, if you're going to eat this chocolate cake here, here are hacks that can help you to eliminate some of the spike that comes from it. Everything from eating vegetables before you have the sugary item, um, putting clothes on your carbs. So if you're going to have the chocolate cake, maybe having Greek yogurt with it, some sort of protein or fat. There are tips like exercising afterwards. And she goes into every single hack and she tells you what it's going to do for your glucose and how it's going to improve it. One of the hacks that she talked about was apple cider vinegar. Having apple cider vinegar before you eat something that might cause a spike has the potential, she says, to reduce your spike by up to 30%. So I convinced my husband to join me so you can see us testing these different hacks from a male and a female perspective. We are both going to fast at least 18 hours. We're both going to eat the same thing and we're going to both do the same tests. And that is what this video is today. And this is my hubby, Matt. So NutriScience was so kind to send him a sensor and I put it on him earlier today. So we are going to be starting off with one of my favorite foods. I went to our local donut store, Sweetwater's Donut Mill, and picked out a donut that he and I both like. We are opposites when it comes to the donut spectrum, but we both like the Boston cream. So you're going to see us testing the Boston cream, how it affects our continuous glucose monitor. I even convinced this guy to fast before he eats the donut. So we're going to try to be as similar as we can while still being male and female. So day one, we are both going to fast all day, at least 18 hours, open our eating window with a Boston cream donut and see how his blood glucose is affected as opposed to mine. We're going to get two different points of view. And then we're going to see if we can implement some of the glucose goddess hacks that I read in glucose revolution and see how that changes. So we have the really hard task of eating a Boston cream donut three days in a row. Are you up for it? I am. I so, think I can handle this one. <laughs> Me too. Let's uh, get to the testing. Donuts! Okay, I've been fasting 19 hours and 7 minutes. And my kids just went to school. I'm about to do devotional and then editing. But I'm going to have a donut first. I also have my black coffee. So I never open my eating window with a donut. I probably would have when I was first fasting, but I realized sugar is not the way to open my window. I like sugar just doesn't make me feel very good when it's the first thing I eat. So I'm going to end my fast. 19 hours, 8 minutes at this point. Mm. All 
All right, time to eat. I think the comparison between Matt and I, both of our first tests, is really one of the reasons that you want to test your own personal blood glucose. You can see that his went to a threshold that is considered too high. You don't want to peak above 140, but I didn't have the same issue. Mine never peaked that high. He had a overall delta of 64 and my delta was 56. That means that the change between our lowest when we started and the highest at some point was either 64 for Matt, 56 for me. And you can see on a scale of one through 10 with 10 being the best, Matt rated a two out of 10 because of how high his spiked and mine was only a five out of 10. Now we're gonna move into day two where we put a hack in place and see if we can make our peak better. Day two of testing, broccoli first, then the goods. Are you excited? Oh yeah. Do you think you're gonna have a better glucose spike than yesterday? I hope so. I hope so too. Okay, so we, we downed the broccoli. I measured it so we had similar um, portions or the same portion and now we're gonna eat the same donut. So cheers, Book. <laughs> We'll tell you our results in two hours. So this was using the hack, eat your greens first. Woohoo, good news. We definitely saw improvement eating broccoli before we ate the same donut. Both of them started from a fasted state. My husband went from a delta of 64 to 40 and he didn't peak above 140. So he went from a two out of 10 to a six, which is phenomenal. I went from a 56 delta to a 48 and I still wasn't peaking above 140. And because I didn't see a huge change and I didn't go from a, an unhealthy or a concerning spike to a lesser spike, I didn't see as much of an improvement in my score. I stayed at five out of 10, but my Delta still was less than the day before and that's considered good. Got day three donut here. Okay, so day three is here, and we are going to eat the same donut. However, first we're going to take a shot of apple cider vinegar. I have mine mixed with sparkling water. Matt's just taking it. It's a tablespoon. Then we're going to add the same amount of broccoli we had yesterday, so eating our veggies first. We're also going to put some clothes on our carbs, so we're going to have a cheese stick when we eat the donut. So all of this hopefully will have a less of a curve than yesterday, which had less of a curve than the day before. We're going to flatten it. Are you up for the challenge? Yep. So let's take our apple cider vinegar. We both like salt and vinegar chips, so I think that helps a little bit, but squinty eye. Oh. Now we're gonna move on to broccoli, then the cheese, then the donut. I also wanna note, somehow I got a really small donut compared to other ones, so I added a little bit of another donut just so it was similar size to Matt's. Only for an apple to apple comparison, not because I need more donut. 20 hours, 18 minutes. So this is put clothes on your carbs, basically adding good fats or protein to your sugar starch carbs. So I can do that. I guess in a way it's also don't count calories. I'm not worried about the added calories of the cheese stick because it's gonna help flatten the curve. I don't worry that it's eating more. Same with the broccoli. And finally, mm, the best part. I still really am enjoying this third day in a row, are you? Mm -hmm. Love my donuts. Okay, we're uh, moving. We're moving after we eat, right, Boog? Yep. And we got our little guy with us. We are going on a 10 minute minimum walk. We'll let you know how long it is. I'm not recording at all. Okay, so our walk has been about 15 minutes. My hair really loves the mist, but uh, we're gonna see. What do you think? Are we gonna see improvement from yesterday? I think so. I think so too. And I'm a little more full with the broccoli and the cheese. It was more satisfying. And a double woohoo because not only did we see improvement again, but we also ate more food. It's kind of counterintuitive, but when we still consumed more, we had a cheese stick, we had the broccoli and the apple cider vinegar, we still saw improvement. Matt went from a delta of 40 to 34. His peak wasn't as high and he scored a seven out of 10. I increased my score from a five out of 10 to a seven out of 10. I was able to increase my score because not only did my peak decrease, but also my delta decreased. And a combination of both of those things and using all of the hacks meant that 
our glucose score continued to improve. So using these scores, we can see that if we want to eat something like a donut, we can take the glucose goddess hacks, eat vegetables before we have it, have apple cider vinegar, make sure you're moving after you eat it. Learning these hacks has really allowed me to make improvements and to see better blood glucose results, which means I'm overall going to feel better and be healthier while still eating foods that maybe aren't the perfect option at all times. If you're interested in a continuous glucose monitor, again, no credit card, no commitment, just taking a survey. There's a link below to learn more about NutriSense and what they offer. And then also the link to this book. Jessie has no idea who I am. She is the glucose goddess on um, Instagram, but I love this book and I really enjoy following her. Again, she doesn't tell me to restrict. She just tells me how to make the choices, how to make better choices with the foods that I want to eat. So when I want to eat the donut, when I want to eat the cake, how I can eliminate blood sugar spikes or at least reduce them.